welcome you to our first uh, beer and cigar review at Cigars Plus. We're located in historic downtown Kissimmee at 101 Broadway Avenue. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Pete and my cigar aficionado, Carlos. Uh, today we'll be uh, rating the Smutty Nose IPA. And on the cigar side, we're going to be rating the Natural English 6x52 uh, by Drew Estate. Um, we're going to see these two pair up. Um, but this is the first of many reviews to come. Uh, something new here at, at Cigars Plus. Also, um, let me introduce you again to Pete. Pete uh, has MixedCat.com. Uh, obviously, he's been doing this for several years. Um, I'm honored to have him here doing the first of many beer reviews uh, in, in, our, in our beautiful store. Um, without further ado, I'm going to hand it off to Pete and Carlos, and uh, have a beautiful one. Come on down and see us. We're open seven days a week. Thank you. They're a good group of guys. you got to check it out. We appreciate it. Well, welcome to another Mixed Cat Beer Review. The setting's a little bit different, but hopefully the beer's good. Hopefully, so, yes. Smutty Nose IPA. It's an American beer, um, one of the best American uh, IPAs, supposedly. We'll give it a shot, give it an honest review. Right. Um, you're a cigar aficionado, so yes, we'll see how it pairs up with that cigar. That, I, I don't know much about cigars. I smoked a couple, but it's not my forte. That's my department name. All right. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. These twist. No, they don't. Uh oh. Just gonna need a pop when you get a chance. Thank open. you. Thank you. Well, that's what the bottle looks like. Got two old guys on it. Smiling, <laughs> by the way. They're very happy. Yes, they are. Next to the trailer, it looks like. But from what I heard, these are some old hippies that came out with an IPA and they're pretty good at making some beers. First time I've had anything from Smutty Nose, but I hear a lot of good stuff about them. And you can see him, Carlos's glass. The color's great. Mm -hmm. Traditional IPAs. Got that kind of golden to almost uh, copper color. And that's from the hops. They put a lot of hops in these guys. And they started using hops actually uh, back in England to get the beers over to America and make it actually make it through the voyage. It's kind of like preservatives without the nasty chemicals and it makes it taste good. Well, you definitely get a citrus note to it, a little bit of pininess. The CO2 is definitely it's streaming off the, the bottom. Not really murky, but looks good. Well, I do agree on the citrus scent. Can't pick up the pine. Don't get pine. No, sir. Getting a little bit of pine out of it and the malt. Definitely a little can, bit of malt. I can pick up a lot of malt, yes. You smell caramel? Palma? Maybe a little bit of caramel? No, I can ask. Well, let's give it a go. That's well balanced. The, it's got bite, but it's sweet. CO2 is great on it. What do you think? The, bit, the bitterness is there, yes. I'm able to pick up all the, like, like a hint of nutmeg in it. Very good, very good, I'm impressed. Um, I'm also able to, um, I agree with you on the murkiness. You can uh, see a little bit through, but not much. It's a hazy. Because I think it's, it's because of the orange color to it. And you got a little bit, it almost looks like active yeast in there. Right. A little bit right. of sediment. Yep. I do agree with that. A little bit of um, orange zest. Mm -hmm. Definitely um, a little bit of a pininess and malt, but it's really, really good. This is a real smooth IPA. If you guys like IPAs with a bite, very, very well balanced. I'd say this is a lot like... Um, it's a little more strong than the uh, Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada is a, a pretty good example of a nice traditional IPA. This one, was it seven point something? Seven point two, I think it was, what he said. 
Yeah, ABV is up there, so this is a strong beer. I'll put it on the video. I'm thinking it's about 7.2 ABV. You definitely get a little hint of the alcohol, but no alcohol legs going up the the bubbles. Mm -hmm. But there's a little bit of a little bit of sediment to it. But really good. Yeah, I'm able to see the sediment on the bottom. Yes. That's probably because of the yeast, right? Yeah, a little bit okay. of that yeast. It's okay. and whatever else they put in it. Good it's tasting beer, it's though. A, it's good tasting beer. Yes, I do agree. A lot of citrus aftertaste with bitterness combined. For sure. Which is good. Not bad for your first, first beer review. For sure. Of course not. And you think it's going to pair up with that cigar? We'll find out in a few <laughs> seconds. Tell me about the cigar. Oh, no, the cigar It's called Natural from Do Straight. The name of the cigar is called English. Mm. It's a 6 by 52 6 inches by 52 the ring size around it. It is a Maduro wrapper. And he has a Honduras and Nicaraguan fillers mm. with root flavors, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Now we're going to pair it up with, uh, with this beer. Let's see how it is. One second while I add it up. We use a uh, cedar plank to, uh, for the integrity of the cigar. That's awesome. Got to hold up that lighter. That's a pretty cool lighter. You guys That's, sell those here? Oh, no, we don't. Aww. This is my personal lighter. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> At first, when you uh, light up the cigar, you always got to make sure that your edges are light up right. That way, you can get good, uh, good burning period as you go through it. Nice and even. The outer wrapper is actually sweet, but as the cigar progresses, Mm -hmm. It tends to get a little bit stronger, but it's considered medium to a full body cigar. Mm -hmm. To be that small, it is. It is a cigar that will that it eventually will be strong. And now combined with the beer, we'll figure it out to see if they can pair it up or not. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm smelling it. It's a, definitely a, a pleasant aroma. It's not like a traditional old man cigar that's just nothing but... Um, I don't even know how you'd say, just a strong smell, it's a nice fragrant smell to it. Right, it's because it's a uh, word, the actual insides mm. are dipped in juices of blends, of different blends, mm. and that's what Straight is known for. They uh, do a lot of flavorings, cool. they do a lot of mixes, and that's how they up there with the names. Nice. Now we're going to try it with the beer. It did completely change the flavor <laughs> of the beer. I kind of figured. He added the sweetness mm. and it took the bitterness away from the beer. Wow. And it gave me a, a hint of honey mm. as an aftertaste. I definitely taste a little bit of honey in there, yes. so that's interesting. So now with this cigar and this beer, I say it is a, is a really good combination because it changes the beer mm. and it changes the cigar at the same time. Super. And hopefully the next couple reviews we do here at Cigars Plus, we'll talk about pairings um, with cigars, beers, absolutely, and maybe some foods too down the road. Yes. But yeah, that's it pretty interesting. It pulled out the flavor of the, the honey. And yeah. You getting anything additional from the, the beer? Additional from the beer. Let's give it another try now after a few bucks. Of course, you always want to get halfway through your cigar. That way you know the integrity of, the, of your cigar. Mm. Got a good burn to it, even. And guys, if you've never tried Smutty Nose and you guys like IPAs, you gotta try this. Really, really good. It, it reminds me of Harpoon IPA. That's what I was thinking of. It's really, really similar. Again, as a, as a second sip, and more to the progress of the cigar. It gave me the honey mm. stronger now. It took some of the bitterness away, 
but it gave me a citrus apple taste. Wow. So I cool. say very good, yes, yeah. to the pairing up of these two cigar these two this cigar and this beer. So we did good for the first time. Absolutely, <laughs> we did great. Excellent. <laughs> And in the background, we have Annabelle from Reboot, our office manager. <laughs> We're going to get him in the next review, possibly. <laughs> and we got the punch uh, statue over here. It's good luck for the uh, the store. He's holding a punch box. It's been with us for, I think, it's been with us over 20 years already from the New Jersey stores. <laughs> so we also have sister stores, and you know, including this one. We've only been here for two years and a half. But he's been following us, and obviously the Florida elements and the humidity are, are taking over and split it really apart. But we're trying to keep them together, we're trying to keep them inside from the <laughs> elements. But yeah, I mean, then I'm going back to the cigar and the beer. Yes, absolutely. I say yes. It's, it's a go. It's a pair. Beautiful. It's a pair. It's a good beer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I like the yes very much. Especially with the cigar, I'm gonna do this again. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. That's good stuff. Who's Mr. Alex? Gotta harass him. Yeah, we gotta harass him. There he is. Carlos says this is a good pairing. It's a good pairing. It's a good pairing. It brought Very out much. the honey, it took away the bitterness of the, the IPA. So I'm learning something here today. Yeah, they did, big time. Wow. You know, you try the beer yourself, and it was a little bit bitter. It, it is bitter. It's like drinking champagne. He, he brought back the flavor of the honey that's in here. There's honey in there? Yes. <laughs> yes, there's honey. That's great. And it took away some of the citrus flavor, but when you progress into the cigar, it gives you a citrus aftertaste that is not bad for your mouth. Awesome. All right. Well, so we're learning. Yeah, yeah we're learning. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do this, this again. The, the first one. Yeah. Next time we'll try that um, Innis uh, beer with the... Dude, I'm, I'm going to go buy that. Tomorrow. That's rum cask. Uh, I actually did a review on that like a couple days ago. It was a really good beer. But I saw your review. Yeah, they paired review. up with that rum cigar. What, what cigar did they, they mention? The rum, well, they mentioned the Avo. Mm. But um, if you want to do a rum cigar, we got the Ted Cigars, which does the... Uh, they come in rum, regular liquor rum. And then we got Tatiana. My, from Miami cigar, there they also do um, uh, rum, rum, pure rum cigar. Sounds like a I'd rather do Tatiana because they do. They are the only one out of the entire category that are that, that are surviving right that now. Surviving to right now. people, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do what this man. Imperial Pale Ale. Usually, Imperial you'll, pale you'll ale like see Pale Ale on it. Uh -huh. Imperial means it's got like a punch. It's the it does. A heavier, <laughs> hoppy, yeah. I really have halfway done the beer. And what they usually do... With the cigar, do, I'm feeling it. I bet. <laughs> Big time. Oh I, my couldn't, God. I couldn't pull that off. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a, this is like drinking two beers. It's a heavy-duty... It's heavy a beer, man. Imperial Pale Ales, with more hops and more sugar. And that results with more alcohol, so it's, it's strong stuff. And then, and then, and then with the cigar... Combine. Mm -hmm. it awesome. It brings it up too. It's a good beer. I like the cool. beer. I well, like the beer with the uh, combined with the. Uh, yeah, thank you. This is awesome. To many more reviews.